and welcome to a truly flashy edition of Ben's Junk. Well, if you're familiar with my musical past, you're probably well aware that the artwork of my stuff from 2004 to 2010 was built around Polaroid photos, if not always explicitly. And by the time 09 rolled around, I had to settle for inserting intentionally degraded digital pics into Polaroid, uh, if you will, frames. Well, this was because they had discontinued making Polaroid instant camera film by then, which frustrated me to no end. I mean, it was meant to be the running theme of my artwork, so... For example, Pure Prairie League always had Lonesome Luke on their covers. So if Pure Prairie League could have Lonesome Luke, I could certainly have bad photography. But anyway, uh, while I admittedly have absolutely zero discernible photography skills, as evidenced here, when I belatedly heard that they had started making Polaroid 600 film again, I of course sat up and took notice. But unfortunately, the sellers failed to inform me that the film I was buying expired back in February. I bought this stuff just right around the end of the summer. But uh, regardless, I've got a two-pack of color film and a single pack of black and white. And I've never snapped any black and white Polaroids before, so that'll be a first. Now, I could have sworn there used to be ten pictures in a cartridge... But I guess there's only eight, or maybe they're just cutting corners, but uh, whatever. Uh, since we're right around the end of that time of year where things get a little more scenic in South Dakota, it seems like a good time to go off and shoot my first Polaroids since, I think, about 2007. Now, for the occasion, I've dug out the camera that I used to use to make my album covers. And this is just a basic Polaroid One Step Express. Uh, my folks got this for me back in 1997 or 98, I think. And uh, I've also got my dad's old Polaroid. He gave it to me several years ago. Uh, I'm not going to be using this one, but uh, this is another One Step and it's from, I think, the early 80s. But uh, I'm not using it because, one, it uses a completely different type of film, and two, there's something a little gunky and weird going on with this one. And it's even more basic than my One Step Express. So anyway, uh, since I've got it out, let's just give a quick rundown of this thing. So, uh, we've got a whopping two focus settings, near and far. We've got three lighting settings. Don't need that much light. Okay, give me a little more. And, okay, give me a little more. And, uh, aside from that, we've of course got the trigger. But you can take a picture without the flash using the gray button, and of course we've got where you put your cartridge in. And uh, let's see, beyond that, if I had a cartridge in here, you, the camera probably wouldn't pick it up, but you'd see how many shots you have left in your cartridge by looking down here. You'd have eight, seven, six, five, four, etc. But uh, yeah, very, very basic stuff. Now, you've probably noticed that the film is still sealed. I did that on purpose because, one, I wanted to be able to show off the boxes, even though I don't think there's anything here you couldn't find online already. And uh, this already got a little damaged just in shipping. If I can make the light hit it just right, you can kind of see where it got bashed. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd do this one in order, just to, one, keep things fresh, and again, uh, in case anything went horribly wrong, at least I'd have some kind of documentation. Uh, I don't really foresee that, but you never know. I mean, I haven't shot a single thing on that camera in, I think, 13 years now. 
But uh, anyway, barring anything catastrophic, that is actually it for me on the vocal front for today. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up and load up one of these packs of, I guess, color film on camera, a camcorder. And then I'm going to head on out and take some pictures while it's still semi-nice out. Uh, we are starting to get into a slightly bleaker time of year around here. But uh, then I will scan those pictures and we'll close out this episode with a little slideshow. And I'll talk to you again soon. Okay, let's see if I can still do this.